today's video is going to be on the 165 grain federal trophy bonded tip I'll be shooting a low velocity round first out of a 308 simulating a long range shot and then I'll be shooting a high velocity load out of a 300 wind mag That low velocity load ended up doing what looks like a surprisingly decent job in there. But I'm not so sure that it didn't just tumble. It was moving 1,288. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a second one here. And I have loaded a little hotter to see if we can catch the bullet. Came through here, still gave a good permanent wound cavity. Came up there. And there it is, sitting between those two gel blocks. And that one was moving 1,912 feet per second. I'm just going to go over my measurements and whatnot on my overview video when I get home. see that bullet in the second block I 
but it uh, definitely decimated that first block. I'm pretty confident it went out my table right there. So, oh, wait a second. Oh, it's in there. We'll go over that a little more in depth when I get home. Yeah, it just blends in with that wound crack pretty good. That's a pretty good mushroom bullet. Good distance into that second block. And that one was moving at 3,297 feet per second. So I do have to say, I'm pretty impressed with that bullet. That did not over fragment at all at the higher velocities and it definitely mushroomed good down to around 1900 feet per second and I didn't capture that 1300 feet per second bullet but it still looks like that had opened and done damage in the gel so overall pretty darn impressive bullet <laughs>